Hi, welcome to Video Doctor for you. And in this video, we are going to see about the Blackmagic Cloud. Now, if you know, a day before CEO of Blackmagic Design launched a lot of different products, including the great DaVinci Resolve 19, a lot of 2110 IP products, and a lot of cost-effective uh, atom control panels and, and DaVinci Resolve micro color panel. What I felt good was the Blackmagic Cloud and you can rent license and it has a whole organizational capabilities in Blackmagic Cloud right now. So that is what we are going to see today. And we will also be seeing a lot of new stuff in Resolve 19 and a lot of new products videos are coming up and we are new here. So we would like your support. So please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for our future videos and we won't disappoint you. So uh, I'm just going to show you how to log in Blackmagic Cloud and how to rent a license. So you can log in. If you already have an account, you can log in. But as of now, I don't have an account. So let's say I'm signing up. So this is sign up. So we need to check our email and that is a regular process. Now the email verification is done. I'm going to the login page. I'm going to enter my credentials. So now we are inside Blackmagic Cloud right now and you can see this DaVinci Resolve project server, cloud storage, presentations and, and account settings are all already there. The new thing is the organizations. So where you can manage people, add people, remove people, you can do all the management stuff for your post-production entirely from here. So I'm going to the organization. So we have to enter our organization. Let's say my name is BD and we have to select our country. India and create. Oh, let's see. VD for you. So you can see the dashboards over here. You can see your company profile, how many members are there, and billing for month, and next invoice, project servers, DaVinci Resolve licenses, and cloud storage if you have any, and presentations if there is any. So this is a general dashboard. So there are a lot of settings or drop down menu kind of things in the top. So I can go to the member area. So you can add members via email address. So you can send an email address and ask them to join you. Let's say, let me put my email address over here and add member. So an invitation email has been sent. So if it'll be part of this organization, you can add a lot, any number of members over here. That's completely free. Of course, you can work with 30 people, 40 people, 50 people, 100 people. So it doesn't matter. Now you can go to the groups. So you can add multiple groups. Let's say you have a team only for editing. So you can add for editing team and uh, you can you can either enter an email or you can just add from here. Okay, this guy will go for editing or this guy will not go for editing. So likewise, you can add multiple members and save those things. So I can save here. So in this editing team, there is one member. So you can add multiple members in the editing team and you also can create multiple groups. Let's say a VFX team and just add uh, okay, this guy will be in VFX team, so I can add this. So we have an editing team and VFX team and we have different different people uh, working on it, right? And next we can go to project servers. Now project servers, it was before only by Blackmagic server, but now we also have an option called by dedicated server as well. So you can buy dedicated server from Blackmagic design. So uh, I can say, so region, I can select Asia Pacific Mumbai, it's available in India and capacity can be from up to 20 users to 50, up to 60 to 150 or 120 to 300. So it will depend and the pricing also will change over here. You can see it's USD 600 and you get the project library capacity of one terabyte, which means you buy the server and you can have multiple project libraries inside it, how much ever you want. So it is going to work like that or we also have an option called by Blackmagic server, which works like a traditional method. You can add how many ever libraries you want and it's $5 per month. So it, it you can add any number of people inside this. So this is a two type. You can buy either $5 per month or you can buy a dedicated server. So that's really nice. And then this is the interesting part, I would say. So here you can rent DaVinci Resolve licenses just like that. Even if your coworker or if your colleague or if your uh, employee doesn't have a DaVinci Resolve studio version, you can rent it for him. So you can just hit rent license and how much this license per month costs around $30. So it is going to be DaVinci Resolve studio with all cloud club abilities and everything. If he already has DaVinci Resolve studio, then no issues. 
we they have already the traditional way of buying a one time purchase perpetual is there but let's say if you if your work is going to be for just uh, one day or 10 day or it's going to be like that so let's say even if it is for a one day you can purchase this license and you cancel in one day it is going to be just 3 dollars per month so this is how it works uh, that's renting a license of davinci resolve studio according to your requirement let's say you work today and uh, let's say after 10 days you are going to work again the 10th day you can buy a 3 dollar license per uh, day so that is how it is going to work and how much ever days you work every day it's going to be 3 dollars so renting a license in davinci resolve is now happening and then finally we have storage of course you can have storage locally you can share locally with dropbox or google drive or how however you want or sending hard disk via uh, porter or whatever it is but if you want to buy a storage online let's say if an editor drags a png image from uh, google chrome and puts it in for uh, motion graphics purpose so that will also get synced to all the people right so you can buy a storage online it start with it starts with 500 gigs it's $15 per month and it goes up to 1 petabyte so if you are working on a large productions and something like that and you want to uh, collaborate multiple people and high end files are involved then you can go with it my idea is you can go with 500 gigs even for a proper feature film or 1 1 1 tb or 2 tb even for a proper feature film the proxy files will not cost you more than 1 terabyte 1 1 or 1.5 terabyte so all the proxies will be synced your editors can work in multiple places so this uh, for a production company a uh, $60 per month will be an affordable uh, solution and then presentations so you can have presentations uh, you can buy presentations buying presentation means uh, it, it includes with library I think uh, yeah you can buy different presentations over here so you can add multiple people and then finally building and settings so this is the new organizational tool which is available inside blackmagic cloud so we are coming up with new videos of the new products which is launched in nab 2024 coming soon and we'll be going through the new the features of davinci resolve 19 one by one in a detailed manner so please do subscribe us and we are video doctor and we are here to solve your video problems and video solutions so comment on us if you need anything from us we will try to help you out with a solution Thank you.